Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to my FIFA 13 trading history. I hope you do enjoy this video and if you do guys, please do leave a like. If we go up to 700, like the top 5 trades, which if you missed, you can click here to watch it now or after the video as well. It'll be linked in the description and you can watch that then. But just like that, this is just showing you how my trading history has come about and so hopefully you do enjoy it. Um, before we get started, if you're looking to buy or sell any coins, check out the thievershop.co.uk. Links in the description, incredibly cheap coins right now so if you want to build a quick team before people 14 hits around then you can go check them out as well um, but I guess we can get started with this video and we're gonna start off where it all begun on FIFA 13. Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to my training series called FIFA 13 Finding Fortune. And so that was when the first training series of FIFA 13 started for me and what a success it was. Thank you so much to whoever supported me back then and if you are still supporting me now, thank you so much for just sticking around during that series because that series, I was not good at trading. Looking back, it took a long time to complete. You'll see how long at the end when I do to speak about that a little bit after this but we did start another series at Christmas time if you remember this one then you are probably a legend and hopefully you enjoyed it um, it was a great series so let's listen to the intro of that series all I want for Christmas is room, room baby Yes, all I want for Christmas is Rue was such a success and I was so happy to bring it to you guys. Um, I just wanted to do like a little off series from Finding Fortune since it's been going on for so long. So at Christmas time, I just thought, hey, I'm going to just do this random little series. So I just traded to the, no to the normal Rooney about 140k and we did eventually get there and you know what 121,000 coins as you can see being bought there and what a bargain he was I actually really enjoy him on this game and he is a good player and all of Christmas's Rue was a great series a little off one the first episode got like 700 likes which for um, what my channel size was then which was like 5k maybe or maybe not actually maybe it was like 9k I'm not too sure but it really really was a success and I'm so thankful for anybody who supported me especially with that intro I mean you just gotta <laughs> respect people who can listen through that but thank you so much Anyway, with Rooney Ball, we did eventually go back to Finding Fortune and completed it on the final day of 2012. 54 episodes of Finding Fortune. And here we are. A million coins. Absolutely fantastic. The support, your subscribing, your liking, your comments, all your feedback has been so helpful. And so there we go, Finding Fortune finished 54 episodes for 1 million coins. That is not very good at all. That is less than 20k per episode, but I just wasn't a very good trader back then. And I actually did, in the past, like, um, in the last about 6 episodes of that series, I went from, like, 600k to a million coins. So, I mean, during those last 6, I improved so much, and it actually took me, like... It took me like 40 episodes to get up to 600k, which was, wasn't very good. So I definitely needed to improve. And as soon as I switched over to informs, my um, trading profit improved so much. And um, with that series ending and 2013 rapidly starting, I actually moved on to Leagues of Trading for a few episodes. And it was a series that was going to run alongside another big trading series, which was coming soon. But basically, in Leagues of Trading, what it was was just going in certain leagues and having 20,000 coins to start off. And just in an episode, trading, using all those coins to buy players and selling them all and seeing how much profit I made. It was averaging about 15k and profit per episode, which was really good considering you started off with 20k. The challenge was to get above 10k profit, and I achieved that in pretty much every Every episode. And so with a few episodes of that successful trading series going down perfectly, I actually wanted to start up a brand new trading series that was like Finding Fortune but training to a player. So I decided on a team of the year player and the player was Falcao and what a fantastic player. He was really really my like idol for the first few months of the 2013 for just how good he was doing and his inform in the game and his team of the year I really wanted to try out so trading to this guy was a definite passion it was definitely one of the most successful trading series I've ever done and we did eventually get him in about 30 episodes I believe.
NFL, become a much better trader from what I was in Finding Fortune, taking me like 25 episodes less to get up to a million coins. So I was very, very um, happy with that, and I definitely wanted to improve it even more. So the next series was hoping to do that. Now, it is the time. Trading to team of the season. However much one of these players costs, we're going to buy him. This is where it all begins. So I guess you're catching on to a trend now of where I'm actually creating little montages to start off series and to end series and I really really like that about my channel. It's a little bit different to other trading channels where they just you know kind of start a series end the series. I like to just do a little montage or something to start it off with a bang and that's what I want to do in FIFA 14 so hopefully you guys can join me in that journey and hopefully I can become a better trader than what I am now because I'm still not what I want to be um, with it trading. So we're here at last. At the end of training to seam of the season. Only last episode did we decide the Natale was the one we wanted. And here I am with 809,000 coins to spend. And he only costs 750k right now. This is the player I wanted. All along I wanted this player. I tried his normal. I tried his inform. And this card just shone to me. This was the one that was saying, buy me, please. Please buy me. And here he is. 748,000 coins, a cheap buy, and we got him. So 809,000 coins is what I got to in 20 episodes, which was an average of 40k an episode, which was much, much better, and I was very, very happy with how that come around. So uh, training team of season Dean Natale, definitely my most successful, people enjoyed it, people loved it, and I was very, very happy with how it turned out. However, the next series was not. I decided to bring back Finding Fortune in a pretty much dire attempt to bring uh, to bring back my channel a little bit because I was kind of getting bored of FIFA and definitely this series was the worst idea I could have done. Finding Fortune Season 2 was pointless. The idea of the Finding Fortune at the start of FIFA was to trade to a million coins so I had a million coins to spend on squads and stuff which I did perfectly and it was a reason to do it. But with Finding Fortune Season 2 it was, it was a, the target was a million again, but there was not really a, a, a desire to get it because I already had millions <laughs> on my account through trading all this already, and it was a crazy, crazy thing for me to do to do this series again because there was no need for me to do it. And it did end a few episodes later, um, about I think about five episodes later, when I just said, you know what, I don't want to do this. I'm not interested in trading to a million coins, so I started up a new series a little bit later, and this is the intro to that. In 2012, the French League was met by one of the world's greatest players, scoring 30 goals and assisting 8 in his first season for the club. PSG had won the title. PSG had bought a hero. This is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the greatest Swedish player alive right now and I'm trading to him. Welcome to trading to team in a season Ibrahimovic. And so that is where our journey ends with trading to team in a season Ibrahimovic. I didn't finish the series, unfortunately, it hasn't been going for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks now, and I'm really, really sorry about that, but I haven't got a desire to trade anymore on FIFA 13, there is no reason for me to, as there's no, I don't really want to play the game anymore, I want FIFA 14 to come, and then trading to start up again when the game is enjoyable, because I'm not going to force out content that I'm not enjoying and making, and it will definitely show if I do that, so sorry, but anybody complaining, you can unsubscribe or anything like that, I just really, really wish you would stay for FIFA 14 when trading starts up again and I am going to produce my best content possible for you guys and hopefully you enjoy it. Anyway, that has been my trading history. I hope you have enjoyed. FIFA 13 has been an epic year for my channel. Starting at like 2k subs to get where I am now. I am eternally grateful. And thank you to anybody who subscribed even for a day and then unsubscribed. Even if you've clicked one video and then subscribed. Thank you so much. And I really, really hope you have a great day, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.